Say hello to your new you go GV uh, uh, you you go GV. Ta da! Now, this doesn't look like any Yugo I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> actually, it does. Hang on, is this. Do I have history with this? Is this the famous Yugo that was yes. by you know who? Yes, yes. Hello and welcome to the conclusion of my Yugo GV build. If you're new to this series, please check out all the links in the video description below to see how we turned a Yugo, which looked like this, into a Yugo that looks like this. And now it looks like this because I have a car cover on it and it's going to its new owner. Now, the new owner doesn't exactly know that he's gonna be the new owner because he doesn't know he's getting this car. And I'm talking about one of my friends, one of my old YouTuber buddies known as Robert Dunn from Aging Wheels. Now, we have used his shop in Car Trek. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Definitely go check him out. His stuff will be in the link in the video description below, but he is a very, very big fan of the quirky European cars. He has a Reliant Robin, he has a Trabant, he has a Wego, which is really weird because we go, you go, nobody goes in those cars, let's be honest. But the plan was for Robert to bring me a car because I actually bought a car on the other side of the country I knew that he was picking up a car in California. I asked him to also pick me up my car that's been sitting in California that I couldn't get because of COVID. Now he's driven that car all the way here to Florida. And I told him that I have a little something for him, but he has no idea what it is. But before we get to any reveal, I do want to give a special shout out to the series sponsor, Advanced Auto Parts. Honestly, this could not be done without them. They were a lifesaver because this car has parts that are very hard to find, but that's only if you don't use the Advanced Auto Parts app. I could find most everything I needed in terms of repair and maintenance for this car, which is insane because this is a car that wasn't really widely received in the US and they stopped making it about 30 plus years ago. So go check that out in the link in the video description below. Also in the description is my special coupon code that will give you up to 25% off. Now, outside is my car and I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's go out and check it out. And... <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just taking a rest. Just taking a rest? I'm not posing for the camera at all. <laughs> so, this is my friend Robert. How you doing, dude? I'm doing good. Uh, welcome to Florida, where it's not freezing. Yeah, it was uh, five degrees Fahrenheit when I left. Mm -hmm. And snowing. So, uh, so y you brought me some presents, didn't you? Uh, I'd come bearing gifts. So you brought me two cars. We'll get to both of them, but I'm interested in this one right here in particular. I bought this about a year ago. This, if you guys don't know, is not a DeLorean. It's not a kit car. It's called a Bricklin SV1. This was a Canadian car, which also had awesome gullwing doors that weighed 90 pounds each. Yeah, they're real light. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's real light and Yep, right there. So it had an air suspension for the doors that doesn't work. These were really, really cool, other than the fact that they were really not very reliable and their bodies would just disintegrate. I mean, look, so look at- so poorly made. This is Panel Gap City. Oh, oh boy, that's- There's a reason I strapped this down on the way here. Yes. Uh, and the truck. But you can tell right here, like it's all cracked. This is cracked. Um, that that's that's not even on there. So the reason why it's like this is because this is one big fiberglass uh, puzzle, and the fiberglass, when it was brand new, would delaminate. Yeah. And they made them in '74 and '75, and also '76. This is a '75. Uh, it has a 351 Ford Windsor. About 175 horsepower, if I remember right. 175 horsepower, but like 200 something foot pounds of torque, which the is like mission a Mission choked heavily. It's a torque monster. I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> choked. What? But these wheels, they, they are very reminiscent of DeLorean wheels, even though this car came out first. So I would say that DeLorean Maybe looks more. like this car, not the other way around. If you take a look <laughs> inside, oh boy. And it, oh boy. Dude, it, it smells real bad. It's, yeah, it does not smell like the desert from whence it came. No. It smells like someone died in it. Oh my gosh. D dude, this is, this is horrible. The windows were not 
closed when I brought it down here. So it may have gathered some snow and rain. And Why is the window made of plastic? Did, is, they, did they come like this? Everything looks pretty cool. It has like an Italian-ish design, especially for the 70s. I really like the rakish look. It kind of looks like it's biting its tongue from the back. Like is it's biting its tongue? There? It's got this impact absorbing bumper and it just looks like it's biting it, you know? Well, first off, first off, you have the blue California plate, which is really cool. So I'm gonna be keeping that. I mean, not, not, for, not for my registration purposes, but I just, you know, for coolness factor Funsies. yes uh but this was called the sv1 because this was dubbed the safety vehicle yeah and safety meaning that this car could be hit at up to and including five miles an hour because of these bumpers <laughs> and if you rolled over don't worry about that because you're just you, dead yeah you're just you're just dead you'd be screaming and crying and uh just uh, just itching to get out but you Believe can't it, a you mercedes can't. sls has gold wing doors and doesn't have explosive charges to blow off the doors in the case of a rollover this has other explosive things like, uh, like, like probably the all the, the fuel that would leak out. Maybe the transmission? It's a three-speed, three-speed it automatic. Th it's a three-speed automatic, and it has the battery in the back, and you can, oh, dude, this is so cool. Te check this out. That's all the airlines right there. Oh, wow. That is really awesome. So let's take this hood off. All right, there's a, I, the handle's broken off and missing, but I've done this several times now. Okay. Oh, no, it's not broken off. That's my Robin I'm thinking of. Okay. You need to lift up on... I can't... Well, I mean, the, I, I can't get my fingers on No, the no, over here. The, the latch is in the back. It's front what? hinged. Oh! Okay, come on. Oh. You good? You <laughs> I okay? Pulled the, I pulled the handle out. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I just broke the mount off. It's okay. It doesn't open. Okay, I'm sorry. Whoops. <laughs> well, okay. I'm a bad car delivery <laughs> Did you really just break it? Yeah, I pulled the, I pulled the handle out of the bracket, the... The part that it screws into mm -hmm. is just plastic and it just... Okay, reporting to you from inside the Bricklin and uh, sit rep, bad. Uh, so we have the hood and this is uh, Robert's doing right here. He, he's, he he manned this uh, right out of its out of its home, but that's okay because we pulled it real hard and we got the hood open and I uh, kind of put it to the side. Uh, don't mind that panel gap, but let's take a look on the inside. Oh yeah, you're you're holding up the door physically. So oh yeah, that's fine. Just, it, just keep doing your video. Make it, it fast. Is time a factor? Um, no, I'll just get really strong. We'll or drop just, this on you. I'm just gonna have to do like 30 takes now. This is brown on the inside. Look at that. Yes, it's brown. Oh. Everything in the 70s was brown. That was the only color that you can legally make things. You know that? No, also avocado. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah that's true. So we have a speedometer and an rpm gauge and a speedometer went to 160 miles an hour which is insane for a car with 175 horsepower had a bunch of really cool gauges it has am fm radio some ac probably probably and some scorpions in there scorp scorpion are there really scorpions it smells horrible in here if you guys are using youtube smell vision then i apologize profusely uh we also have this awesome steering wheel that is Connected with two bolts, very loosely. Uh, I think the horn button is right here. <gasps> the Bricklin oh horn button, God. look at that. We're gonna put, okay, we, that just went somewhere. We have plenty of room for things and stuff and junk. So I am going to let Robert uh, lower this this awesome thing down and we can. Yeah. That's, that was kind of impressive actually. That really was kind of impressive. The other door, I know this from experience, slams. It okay. does not do that. Okay, so. If it just slammed and then the car just fell apart, I would never stop laughing. Let's take this fiberglass hood off. Is it is it light? It weighs as much as a fiberglass hood. It's not that light. Okay, so. It's not carbon fiber. What? No, it's definitely not. So this is a 351 Windsor V8. There's some things missing. Things, yeah. Um, so this could be a candidate for an engine swap, or we could put a hotter cam in it, definitely a better uh, set of carbs, and do some deletes around here. Look at this AC, this is the largest AC compressor I have ever seen in my life. This crank pulley has, <laughs> has so many belts. That is insane. It's heavily accessorized, this engine. 175 horsepower, this, this feels like it weighs three tons. Like, I'm just, I, I it, it feels heavy just sitting here. Yeah, it, it does look very heavy. 
So what do we have the here? The previous engine was an AMC V8. I think it was a 360 and it made, I think, 250, 220 horsepower, somewhere in that range. Yeah, so but- it was better. Well, I have this also, one, so this one's better. That's, oh, that's okay, why. That's okay, why that's how that works. Gotcha. Uh, did you see this? This what little is, gauge? Oh no, what is that for? I think this is the airline for the doors. Or is that hydraulic line? Yeah, it could be a hydraulic line or an airline. It, I, I think there were hydraulics. Yeah, so something's disconnected here. You know that's what? probably I think what that's it, what this is, a hydraulic pump. Maybe, because it's connected to this reservoir here. Dude, it could this be is like, totally this wrong. This is like Mercedes ABC hydropneumatic suspension. Yeah, but Canadian and fiberglass and worse. Yeah, this is like my McLaren, dude. It's exactly the same thing. This car actually is, is not really in bad shape. It looks a little worse for the wear. The body panels are garbage, but they all sort of are garbage. So if you guys don't know about the rarity of the Bricklin, they made about 3,000 of these. Yeah and they all sell for about like two to eight thousand dollars because this is what you get yeah because this is what you get but you can make them cool and i think mine is going to be cool but this is going to be a project for another day uh, i just wanted to have this in my shop just to kind of tinker around and see what coolness i can come up with uh we also have this that's uh that's kind of cool so this is a 2008 Lexus ISF and I'm going to just gloss over this because this is the start of a project for my uh, other channel with Jared called Wrench Every Day and uh, I'm taking essentially the essence of this car. We're taking the 5 liter V8, the uh, automatic transmission, that 8 speed direct shift that shifts really really quickly, we're taking the brakes, suspension, everything and we're putting it into another car and we're making something that Lexus should have made from the factory. So go check that out. That will be in the link in the video description. I'm really, really excited for that. Uh, this car does run and drive. It also doesn't have a cooling system, but this has been deleted uh, sort of involuntarily. Uh, yeah, maybe someone smashed into it, maybe possibly. I am very thoroughly enjoying this Brooklyn, but I told you that I got you a car, but I didn't tell you what, it, what I got. I have guesses. Yep. I've been pondering about this for a long time. Okay, what are your guesses? Well, I think, well, you've told me the parts are hard to get. Yes, the parts are very hard so to get. So that's yes. good. It mm -hmm. means you know what kind of cars I like. Yes. And I think it is vaguely hatchback shaped. So maybe a Fiat or something. I have no idea. That's my best So, guess. So you're right, but also very, very wrong. Oh. Now, um, this car was famous, this Bricklin was famous because this was brought to the States by a man named Malcolm Bricklin. Malcolm Bricklin also brought to the States Subaru, the brand Subaru, right? Did With you get the, me a 360? I did not get you a 360 because if you come inside, okay, we will. I will show you the end of okay, that story. Okay, I'm excited now. Okay. After you. Okay. Well, I know you get me a Ferrari. Uh, yes, it's it's not the Ferrari. You said Malcolm Bricklin. Is yes. This Okay. Is this what I think it is? It could be. Say hello to your new Yugo GV. Uh, 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 you you go GV. Ta da! Actually, it does. Hang on. Is this? Do I have history with this? Is this the famous Yugo that yes. was by you know who? Yes. Yes. This is the Yugo that you yourself drove yeah. in the video. This is the one that Doug DeMuro reviewed. This is from Austin's Garage. This is the one that's been all over the internet. And uh, Jared and I have worked <laughs> a lot of hours. Dude, this is your car. Really? Yeah, it's your car. Thanks. <laughs> Now, the last time I drove this car, it was a writhing pile of garbage. Yes. Um, I could see that there's some new wheels on it. What, yes. What else have you done? If you look at the wheels, you'll notice that they're a lot lower in the, in the oh, fender. Oh, well, there's, there's some disc brakes in there. Yes. Willwood so, brakes? Yeah, so <laughs> you put, there's... You there, put four piston brake calipers on it. Okay. Yeah, All right. there's four piston brake calipers. There's... Some cutaways here. Vented rotors. Yes, we had to cut away the body just a little okay. bit. Okay. What do we got in the back here? Some new drums. Yeah, we got All new right. drums. In the back, it's it's kind of business as oh, usual. The bumper's gone. I didn't even notice that. Yes, the bumper is gone, and we have some aftermarket fog lights. We have well, the interior oh, yeah, is. Hello, uh, good lord! There's so much change about this car that I didn't notice some of it. Well, you're gonna notice some more when I do this. 
Oh, that's not the stock engine. <laughs> Where's the hood rod? Yeah, this is a big block, okay? Mm -hmm. The stock Yugo came with a paltry 1.1 liter making 55 horsepower. Yeah. This is Maybe. a 1.5 liter from a Fiat X19. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. And okay. it, is, it is fully rebuilt, uh, other than the bottom end. The bottom end is still whatever, but it's fine. It has good compression. It has two carburetors on it. What yes. Are, and they're two barrels each. Yes, yes. These it's are individual throttle bodies. <laughs> yes. These are Weber's, and it has a custom manifold. Uh, we have a fuel system here. We, oh, it's, wow. uh, it's a fuel pressure regulator. We have brand new plugs, wires, a bigger cam. Uh, all cooling system stuff is brand new. New battery, battery tie down, all that. Uh, we have reworked everything in this engine bay. So this makes probably double the horsepower. I mean, it does, we're not talking about a lot, but double on this car is... This it, well, you wouldn't, put it, wouldn't want to put much more in it. It would uh, be yeah. a little bit scary. It would be, it'd be a little bit dangerous. And yes. this thing was scary when I drove it several years ago because it was just so under... It felt like there was definitely something wrong with it. There were a lot of things wrong with it. Number one was the fact that the engine was blown when I got it. So, uh, oh. yeah, it had a uh, valve that was in two pieces. So it, oh. it, it hit oh, the piston and then it just... Uh, it decided. wasn't like that when I drove it, was it? I, I honestly don't think so. I, I, you wouldn't be able to yeah, drive okay. an engine like that, no. We have all new timing belts on there. Oh, uh, the uh, pulleys, all that stuff has been reworked. Uh, also, it has a coilover suspension. That's all adjustable. Nothing on the interior has really been changed. It just got a little bit of a cleanup. Um, the Yugo interior leaves a lot to be desired, but it's the pinnacle of basic transportation. Oh my God. Oh, the pinnacle of... Did yes. you read that from a brochure somewhere? I think so, yes. <laughs> I, I believe that's what they build this car. You has. cleaned up the interior. I mean, it looks the same, but less like it's been sitting under a tree for 15 years. Well, yes. Um, now, it actually has been sitting outside because you can see right here, it has a lot of hail damage. You know, there's a the good and the bad. Now, the good is obviously all of this, but this is a Yugo, and uh -huh. I would be remiss in giving you a Yugo without, you know, giving you also a project because this car needs a little bit of work. Well, yeah, if you gave me a perfectly functioning car, what would, what would that be? <laughs> what would be the point of that? <laughs> um, now, we drove this. It's or, even clean. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we polished it, yeah. Really? Yeah, we polished it. You polished it. a turd. Yeah, uh, we, we actually polished this turd. You can polish a turd, yes. I imagine it's single stage paint. There's no clear coat. Oh no, no, why would you, <laughs> no, why would you need clear coat? Absolutely not. Uh, no, no reason. Number one is, is the biggest detractor from this car, and it's the fact that you can no longer fit the spare tire in the engine bay, and that is just a bit, that's a- Oh, oh I, I don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> return it. Now, there's other issues with this car, namely that we got uh, wheels and tires that are entirely too big. Oh my God, look at that camber. Oh uh, yeah, the, ca <laughs> the camber, it's a ra it's race car now. So you t take a look at the camber and it's, uh, it's a little cambered out. And the reason why is because when we tried to adjust the toe on the steering rack, one of the ends of the steering rack really isn't liking life a lot. Okay. It's, yeah, it's not very good. So you're going to have to change the inner tie rod or the entire okay. steering rack. I would recommend the steering rack. Also, it rides a little bit high in the back, but that's not a that's not a huge deal. What kind of suspension do they ha these have in the rear? Uh, a transverse leaf spring, kind of like a Corvette, except not like a Corvette. Or like a Trabant. Like a Trabant, exactly. It's exactly like a Trabant. Shouldn't be terribly hard to lower. Oh, no, no. You just you just do spacers. But there is one, <laughs> one thing that's... Uh, a little bit troubling, and this is why I didn't drive it more. And I don't know if you can notice, uh, it might not be doing it now, but there is a leak coming from over here. And that's because uh, our, our no dear friend, deal. the previous owner, uh, may have jacked up the car from the gas tank. I think you could have left that at the beginning of the sentence and it would still be true. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so this is uh, leaking fuel. And you can smell it. You can yeah. you can smell it here. Yeah. I mean, it smells like a Yugo. First yes, it does smell like a Yugo. That is very true. Uh, but it's leaking fuel, and I don't think it's safe to drive as is. But uh, yeah, we'll get you hooked up with a uh, uh, fuel tank, or we'll just figure out a way to, to fix that one. Yeah, I'm sure the tank is fixable. I think that you should take this for a little test drive, and then let me know what you think. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at him. He's so excited. Look at kid on garbage Christmas. <laughs> All right. So, anything special I need to know? No. Okay. Is this? Oh well. Those are gears. There's gears there. All right. This was when I drove it several years ago. 
really terrible. I have no idea if it's better. Well, I mean, can you feel gears? Yes. Then it's better. So give it two pumps on the accelerator. All right. Oh! <laughs> Throaty. Yes. I like it. That's some good intake sound. Yeah, it really is. And that throttle response is, uh, is, is pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, zingy. Yeah. So we haven't really dialed in the carbs all that well, uh -huh. so lower RPMs could be a, can run a little lean. Oh, great. You so left a horrible job to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank so you. You, can, you can do that. Okay. But uh, go ahead and, uh, and drive it around and see how you feel. All right. But not too much because the, the gas is leaking. Yeah, right? I'll live. Also, don't hit the bricklet. Why not? It's his brother. They're bound to have sibling rivalries. All right, let's take a running shot at the parking lot. This is great. Already substantially improved from when I drove it before. Oh, oh dark steer! <laughs> I can see what he meant by the steering being vague. It just sort of hop, skipped, and jumped all over the place. <laughs> now it does have a fuel leak, so I limit my test drive, but. Let's go into second. <laughs> oh, with the seat moved. Brakes work. I like it! Dude, that sounded really good! And it turns on a dime, the steering, like you said, it's a bit vague. When you say it on a dime, is it like a really big Yugoslavian dime? Um. It corners like it's on rails, and I mean that legitimately, but it does have some real slick tires on it, so yeah. that's to be expected. Yes, uh, so I think... It even idles! Yes, it does! It idles! <laughs> uh, it, has, it has a big, pretty big cam in it. Uh, oh, yeah! But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's happy. It likes doing that. Now, um, it doesn't like holding fuel in the tank, so... All right, I should probably um, end the test right Yeah, so soon. maybe uh, let's let's load it up on your on your trailer, All right. which is uh, over there. I think it's going to look a little ridiculous on your huge... Yeah, trailer. it'll look fine. But let's load it up, and uh, I think she's yours to keep. All right. Dude, I, I'm, I'm, like, legitimately very happy that you're getting this car. I, I, I thought of no one else. When I got this car, I didn't even want this car, but I, I had you in mind, and I knew that you would appreciate it. You know, the thing that I'm thinking about now, because this is a Yugo and because it's had so much damage to it, you've done the thing that I'm always afraid to do and modify it. Yes. So now I can just go crazy with it. Yes. I can just do whatever I want to do, which is why I'm always afraid to do that with my cars. Because yeah. I've got, they, I have 1% of the entire production of Wegos. <laughs> I don't want to change anything on that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to change anything on a Trabant, but yes. this I can just yeah, have fun with. Yeah, you can with. do literally anything you want. Yes. Anything your heart desires. Yeah. Um, it's going to be great. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's get it all, all right. loaded up. And uh, it's dude, idle. I, I am so happy that you like this car. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Torque steer. I love this thing. I'm going to drive this absolutely everywhere once I fix the little issues it has. <laughs> oh, it does smell like gas. I'm gonna... Let's hurry up this lining up thing. <laughs> I can feel the shifter move when I apply the gas. All right, let's shut it off. Radiator fan. That was not on this car when I drove it the last time. I remember there was a... A light switch or something hilarious wired up down here floating around the floor for the radiator fan. But I see they've wired up something at least somewhat proper now. Where's the door handle? Expert mode. Absolutely expert. Much easier than using a come along to carry a bricklet onto a trailer. <laughs> Dude, this is this is you. This <laughs> yes. is absolutely you. <laughs> yes, when I drove this car however many years ago, I tried to buy it off Austin and he said no. Well, now that has has come back in a in a very big way and hopefully it doesn't come back to bite you. But seriously, thank you. No. This uh, is wonderful. I, I, absolutely. You're welcome. You're very welcome. I hope you like the car. You clearly spent a lot of effort making this car what it is now. Yeah. Well, oh, thank you, man. That's the, that's the fan. So that works. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, I, I 
I'm very, very happy that you, you like the car. And yeah. uh, they can go, everybody can go check out this car on your channel. I'm sure you'll do very cool things with it. Okay. Thank you so much, man. That was according to the speedometer, zero miles per hour. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that! This is a Yugo! Oh god. Okay, let's slow down. <laughs>